All right, I'm in the front orthographic view, and the hot key for that, if you remember, is just hitting the one key. That'll get you back there. And uh, let's go and just hit Shift A to make a new cube right there, pretty much in the middle. And I'm gonna swivel around a little bit here. I'm gonna hit Tab uh, so we can edit it. And then uh, with everything already selected, hit the, the W key. That's gonna bring up the specials menu, and then just go over here to subdivide. Okay, so now we've just you know made each one of these faces into four faces right switch back over here to the front orthographic view again I'm gonna hit a to deselect everything but then I'm gonna hit the B key and keep in mind I'm able to edit the vertices right now uh, I'm just gonna select this side and I want to be sure that all of them are selected over there okay so I've got that I guess toggled off and I'm gonna hit the X key so I'm gonna delete those vertices so I'm left with this box right it's kind of chopped in half right I'm gonna hit tab to get out of the edit mode I'm gonna go over here to this modifier I'm gonna click on mirror and uh, be sure you have these same settings I do X merge clipping and that should do it you can you, this is kind of an optional one but essentially what's going on now is if I go back over here in a tab mode it's a little bit easier to see that if I click on one of these vertices you'll notice I it, it's basically when I adjust it it's, it's mirrored so it's gonna adjust this one over here and when you have this toggled on it means that you can also grab the vertices over there to, and they'll affect that one, right? Uh, so, you know, if you were building a person or something like that, uh, this is obviously a nice way to set things up because, you know, you don't have to make two arms, you just make one arm, right? Uh, and then let's take this just a little step further. Uh, I'm gonna just back out of edit mode again and I'm gonna go over here to subdivision surface and I'm gonna take uh, the subdivisions up to two over here. Uh, so we've now kind of got this more organic shape out of our box, but essentially, if you go toggle off the visibility, you can see that you're really just still dealing with just a plain old box, right? So again, you can see, you know, it's still there. Uh, turn those back on. And uh, then if you want to make things even a little bit smoother when you're looking at all this, uh, let me get back out of tab again. You can go over here and uh, click on smooth so you can go back and forth between these. It's not actually changing any of the, the geometry of it. Uh, so yeah, um, let's do this. Let's add a little bit more um, geometry to it, speaking of. So I'm gonna go into a tab again. Uh, let's go to that front orthographic view. I'm going to, I've still got the vertices selected, that's fine. Uh, let's hit the B key, so I'm just gonna select uh, the, the bottom ones down here. I'm gonna hit E, and then I'm just gonna, oh, and you know what, looks like I had something else selected up there. Let me back out of that. I'm gonna hit A a couple times and deselect things. And let's do that one more time. So I'm going to select down here, hit the E key to extrude. There you go. And do that one more time. So now you can see I've got this uh, kind of more, again, just more mass to this. Uh, and if I wanted to add more edge loops to it for more detail, I could always hit uh, Control R. So there you go. So I could add a, you know, another line of uh, edges inside of there, going horizontally or do the same thing vertically over here. Let's see. Oh, kind of, yeah. It wasn't the one I was hoping for, but that's okay. Uh, anyway, the whole point of this is that, uh, and I probably don't wanna do that unnecessarily. I wanna kind of build this up slowly, add in the extra geometry as I need it. Um, but uh, there you go. So I'm gonna shut this one down before we hit the four minute mark.